Hi, I'm Will, and I'm a Southern California native. I live with my partner, Steve. I arrived to Los Angeles back in the 80s by way of Montreal and Toronto. We both have traveled the world, and we are now exploring our own backyard, finding places that we never knew existed. We are taking hikes to stretch our legs, and along the way we're discovering historical landmarks of interest that we hope you'll enjoy. Our channel is a way to capture these moments that we share together, and we invite you to follow along in our adventures. Thank you for watching our video. Steve and I appreciate you coming by. And today we are both going to be walking to the March 1928 San Francisco Dam disaster. We are on a road that, as you probably seen a moment ago, has been much neglected. And we will be taking a hike to see along what happened. And we will be talking about some of the events that took place in March 1928. Not everything William Mulholland did turned out successfully. Behind me you see a remnant of the dam disaster, a big chunk of the cement. Probably can't see it, we're going to try to get behind here because the sun unfortunately is right on us. But you could actually see the steps in which you could tell that this was part of the dam that would be exposed. Many of the large pieces were deliberately destroyed. They didn't want this to become a tourist attraction and have a lot of people, a lot of traffic, a lot of people just gorking at the disaster that occurred. But I think this is a good indication of the size of how massive this dam really was. It is believed that 431 people died as a result of the failure of this dam, but the true number can't really be known. We are north of Santa Clarita, so the debris field went as far as Fillmore, Santa Paula, and then out into the ocean. So it just took buildings, debris, people out into the ocean. Many of them were just buried alive. Many of them, because this is an agricultural area, especially in the turn of the century, a lot of migrant families that were not recorded. Uh, many of the towns uh, that had people that just, they didn't have numbers for. So we really don't know the true number of the people who did pass. And on YouTube, you'll see many videos here that talk about the disaster. And that's not really what we want to show. We just want to show here that this place is accessible. You can come and see it and pay respects. And I think it is a place worthy of visiting. Let's go on top of the foundation and see what we can see from up here.
not everything was completely destroyed from the dam. There were still a lot of large chunks of structure that survived. Even though they frowned on trying to turn this into a tourist attraction, local kids would come up here and play. And unfortunately, one day, kids being kids, boys being boys, they dared each other to climb these steps as one did, and unfortunately fell and ended his life. At the result of that, the city did its best to um, blow up and destroy many large uh, pieces that remained. I can't tell what this is. Was this from the disaster or was it broken down by the city? But a year after the disaster, the federal government declared this site in 1929 both a national monument and a memorial.